So you're making a game in Game Lab and you want something to shoot. I'm going to show you how to do that. So to set up, I have a plane and I have a cat. And inside my draw loop, I have a white background. And the plane moves right when you press right. And it moves left when you press left. So this is my starting situation. The cat doesn't do anything. He's just sitting there. But I want to be able to shoot him. So the first thing I'll do is um, make a sprite called shot. I'll do that up here. And then I'll say if the mouse went down, uh, not the mouse, a key went down, and I'm going to control my shots with the space bar, then I want that sprite to have a negative velocity to shoot up the screen. So I'll just do a negative four for now. All right, let's see how that goes. So there it is in the middle. When I press spacebar, it goes flying upward. Well, that's a start. Uh, it's too big. It doesn't have any animation set to it. So I'll stick one right here, and then I need to draw one. This is the easiest thing to draw. I'm just going to grab the big one and make a square like that, and then crop it to size. I'll rename this animation shot. All right, now let's run it again. Pull down and get a shot. Okay, so there it is in the middle. When I hit spacebar, it goes up. So the next thing I want to do is hide it so that it's not in the middle of the screen when I begin. So I'm going to set my shot's starting position at 500. That would be this is 400 on the x-axis, right here on the edge. So that would be off the screen to begin. And then whenever the space key is pressed, I'm going to give it a new x and y position. Make both of these say shot.x and shot.y. And I want them to be wherever the plane is. Because the plane is moving left and right. I want them to be in the same spot. Okay. So now we can't see our bullet. It's off screen. It's over here somewhere. When I shoot, it's going to pop out of the plane. Now you'll notice if I sit still that it's coming out of the center of the sprite, and I would actually rather it come out of the front of the plane. So right here on the Y value, I'm going to adjust a bit and say the shot y, whenever you press space, should be the planes y minus maybe 40 pixels. I'm guessing at that number, but should be close. So now, see how it looks like it's coming out of the nose of the plane? That I really like. Uh, now, the next thing to do is to control their contact with each other. So, if the shot is touching cat, then we're going to give the cat a new x and y position. We're just going to move him somewhere else. You could also make the score go up based on that, but I'm not adding a score to this, to this one. And we'll give that a random position. Now on the x, I do want it to stay on the screen, so I'm going to say maybe right here at 15, and here at, well let's do 20 and 380, that'll keep it on the screen. And then for my Y value, I also want it to be random, so maybe at 20 that way, but I don't want it to be down here on the plane, so I'm going to stop him about halfway and say at 200. Okay, so now shoot, and if I hit the cat, he'll move. So that is working. Now, um, there is a flaw here. And the flaw is if I try to spray bullets. I only have one bullet, so every time I press it, I'm repositioning the same bullet. But that's not ideal. So now I'd like to show you how to fix that, and it's going to take uh, a bit more code. So the first thing I'll do is I'm going to... Uh, yeah, I guess I'm just going to delete a bunch of stuff. I'm going to leave my... 
you know what, I'm just going to go crazy here. I'm going to delete everything except for this key went down. And up here, uh, let's take these two. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to make lots of bullets. Not just one, but a bunch of them. So to do that, to do a control number, I'm going to use a for loop up here. And uh, inside of it, I'm going to make sprites. I want them all to be called shot. So the first thing I'm going to do is above the for loop, I'm going to say shot equals, and I'm going to put square brackets here to say shot is going to equal some kind of list. Now, inside of this uh, for loop is where I'm going to make my sprite, but I want to call it shot, and I've already made shot with a var, so I'm going to come in here take off this var to essentially create a block that doesn't really exist. And now I'm going to say shot square brackets i like that. And shot square bracket i. And we will tie this to the shot variable. So here's what's going to happen. When, uh, shot's going to be created as a variable on line 6. On line 7, it's going to set i equal to 0 and make shot square bracket 0 as our first bullet. Then it's going to loop around and change i's value to 1. It's going to make another one, shot square brackets 1. And then it'll make shot square bracket 2. Uh, up to whatever number I choose here, I'm going to make 9 bullets. Okay. Uh, next, we need to shoot them. So whenever the space bar is pressed, uh, we are only going to shoot... Oh wait, let's make all these off-screen. Alright, so they're over here at 500 just like we did before. Now, when we shoot, we still want to give an X and a Y and a velocity Y. But this time we want to do it for shot square bracket uh, I. Actually, you know what? I only exists inside this loop, so let's pick another letter. Let's pick J. Uh, it'll make sense when you see it working. Hopefully. Now, I'm throwing some errors here because J doesn't actually exist. So let's come up here at the very top and let's just make a J and set it to zero. It's just a counter. It's just counting things. Okay, so whenever we press space, uh, we're going to set the first bullet shot square bracket 0, which is what j is. Uh, we're going to set it to plane.x, just like we did before. We're going to set the y to plane.y. Minus 40, we decided. And we're going to set each one's velocity to negative 4. Okay, so that takes care of the first bullet. Uh, let's see if that one works. Okay, and if we want to count j over here, you'll see j is 0. But we got the same problem as before. We're still just shooting bullet no, the first bullet shot zero so what we need to do is after we shoot it we want to increment so we're going to say j equals j plus one now watch what happens to j when i reset now when i shoot the zero one shoots and then it flips the value of j to one so now i'm shooting shot one and this next time i'm going to be shooting shot two and it's going to go all the way up until we get to the top of this we do, it's going to give us an error. So 9 is okay, but greater than 9, we get an error. We say there aren't any shots greater. So what we have to do now is say, all right, when you get to the top, when you've cycled all the way through, say, if j is greater than 9, then we want to set j back to 0 so we can shoot that first bullet again. You can have as many bullets as you want to, but the reality is there are only so so many that you can see at a time on the screen. Nine seems like a good number. If your bullets were going slower, maybe three or four would be enough. Uh, let's try this. Again, watching this J equals zero, that's counting through our different bullets. One, actually zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now notice that the value of J is nine, so this next one, oh, I timed it wrong. So let's make this 8. Okay. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And 
notice J goes back to zero, so no more errors. So I'm just cycling through those same eight bullets over and over again. Now the only other thing to do is to control that interactivity with the cat again. So you can say if um, we're grabbing is touching, if the cat is touching, well, there's two ways to do this. You could do each individual one. I'll show you that. Shot square bracket zero. So the first, if it's touching the first bullet, uh, then move the cat just like we did before. To a random position. Probably shouldn't have deleted this part. Twenty-five, three, seventy-five. I know I did different numbers last time. That's okay. Now, uh, this first bullet should have interactivity, but notice that the second bullet doesn't. So we could write this if statement eight or nine times, and just change this value right here, or you could write another for loop to check them all, which is what I'll do. Okay, so. For uh, zero through nine, if the cat is touching uh, shot dot i, that way it does each one of them. Then move the cat. Now let's try each of our bullets. Bullet one, well, that was bullet zero. Bullet one, bullet two, bullet three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So they all work, which means you can now spray. And that's how to shoot.